Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's pick a card reading, I really wanted to do a check-in with how you think your person is feeling and then how they're actually feeling. So, you know, kind of your perception of what's going on with them versus the energy that's actually there. Um, I'm excited to do this. I'm actually only going to use tarot today. It's going to be a tarot only reading, so no oracle cards. <laughs> Um, I wanted to come on and do a reading, but I also, you know, don't have four hours today. So <laughs> um, I wanted to say before I begin that if anybody's not feeling well, I hope you feel better soon. I was thinking about it before I came up to do this reading. I was making soup because half of the people in my house have colds right now. Um, so I just wanted to say if you have a cold... Get yourself some soup, and I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> and if I knew you, I'd bring you some soup. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what you think they're feeling versus what they're actually feeling, tarot only. Um, let's go. <laughs> so for pile number one, we have this piece of uh, ruby fuchsite. <laughs> I don't know why. I have no idea. I'll show it to you better than that. I have... Focus. Oh my goodness. Focus. Well, aren't we off to a great start? <laughs> Maybe. What is happening? Maybe. There we go. Maybe you're having a hard time focusing right now. That was very, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Ruby Fuchsite. I couldn't think of the name and then the camera wouldn't focus. What is happening here? You stop that. Stop being bad. <laughs> Pile number two, we have this opal heart. Oh my goodness, what's happening? There we go. And I must have it on the wrong setting. And for pile number three, we have this piece of Labradorite. Oh, I guess I should also mention the tarot decks. So pile one, that's your tarot deck. Pile two, that is your tarot deck. And pile three, that's your tarot deck. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to pause it and I will see you at your pile. Hello pile one and welcome to your reading. If you chose the piece of ruby fuchsite. This is going to be your reading about how you think your person feels versus how they actually feel. I'm going to be using two different tarot decks and I think for how you think they feel I'm going to use this deck and for how they actually feel I'm going to use... I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling that one. So right away we have Knight of Swords and Five of Swords. Very interesting. So these are two slightly different energies, you know. So this is them. This is what you think is going on. And we have the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So lots of air energy. And the Knight of Swords is actually someone who is wanting to talk to you, um, who wants to communicate something with you. And with the appearance of this dolphin, that represents harmony and love and joy. So it feels like this person wants to tell you something. And this five of swords here, <clears throat> for how you think they're feeling, um, this is interesting because right away, five of swords, maybe you think that they're in their head about this, but not in a good way. It's, I feel like, see, there's that death. So for some of you, I feel like you think this person is kind of done with you. Um, the way that we have these roses laying down here makes me feel like you think your person has is done with this, perhaps because of what happened between the two of you. 
for some of you with the, the appearance of the crow here, and we have the snake, I almost feel like for some of you in this pile, you're going to be, you could perhaps be very intuitive and you could feel like right now this person is acting from a place of ego. You could be very intuitive and know that, you know, this person is dealing with possibly some self-sabotaging tendencies here. Um, for some of you, you could feel intuitively like they're looking at their own Five of Swords energy. Um, but like I said, for some of you, I'm seeing, I am seeing that for some of you, you feel like maybe this person, you know, doesn't think about you any longer. Um, interesting. Well, let's shuffle. Let's have a shuffle. I just had an intrusive thought that I was about to shuffle these together. <laughs> All right. So this is how you think they're feeling about this situation. So we have page of wands, which is you could feel like this person had a fear of commitment or has a fear of commitment when it comes to you. Five of cups, regret, sadness. So you do feel like this person has some sadness and regret about what happened between you. Interesting. The page of pentacles was where I cut it, but the tower wants to be seen. Um, the tower, for some of you, you could feel like this person may be going through a really hard time right now, but <laughs> this is supposed to be how you think they're feeling about this and you. <laughs> we have justice. All right, so let's cut the deck and then we shall shuffle the other one. <laughs> All right, so we have the moon. So you could feel like your person is hiding things from you or you could feel like they're afraid of this connection with the moon. You feel like they're afraid of this connection, um, perhaps that they keep things from you. For some of you, you could feel like this person has an inner knowing that you're their divine feminine if you are, you know, highly spiritual on that path. We have the two of cups. So this is your person's energy, their actual energy. So when I was cutting your deck, there was a lot going on. There was five of cups, five of swords. What else did we see? The tower. And now we've got this two of cups. So I feel like your person is connected to you in the 5D. And Knight of Swords, two of cups, this person has something they want to say. We have the 10 of pentacles. Do you see the difference? Very interesting. 10 of pentacles for how they feel about this connection. You could be fearing for the worst, my friend. You could be fearing for the worst here. I feel like you're going to be the ones that come back and are like, oh my gosh, they reached out to me and said everything you said they were going to say. <laughs> I love when that happens. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, like, my person came back after months and they're, they've changed exactly like you said they would. <laughs> I had no hope, but they did. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We've got the fool wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. That knight of swords, what did I say? And I feel like you could be fearing for the worst. All right, so let's cut this deck. I just heard cut it out. <laughs> We've got the three of wands. This person is thinking about the future and how to come towards you. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. The hermit, they're reflecting on this, wanting to show you what they've been working on. Beautiful. The eight of cups. This person could be ready to walk away from something, you know? I did see the two of swords and justice. So for some of you, I'm not going to jump right there. But for some of you, there could be someone else. Um, you would know that, that your person has to choose you, you know? Anyway, very interesting, my friends. <laughs> so let's see how you think they're feeling about this connection. So we're going to start with how do you think your person is doing right now? What energy do you think your person is in right now? We have the Ace of Pentacles and Death. So it feels to me like you feel your person is moving on from you after this ending. We have the Ace of Pentacles. For my highly intuitive people, you could feel like this person is transforming for some of you. But I don't know. We're going to keep going and see. Because it feels to me like maybe you feel like this person is having a fresh start without you. Um, and moving on from you. Two of Swords. Like maybe you feel like they've made their decision and are moving on. Interesting. How do you think they're currently feeling about this connection? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Two of Wands. So you feel like... This is interesting energy. <laughs> I can hear one of my kids coughing. Um, this is very interesting energy for how you think they're feeling. Because for some of you... There is this energy for some of you that... You think they're perhaps thinking about letting go of a third party situation. Um, I think that you feel like your person feels like they need to make a choice to come towards you. Queen of Wands in reverse can also symbolize being afraid to express yourself. So it could be as my kid is coughing, right? Um, you could feel like they don't have the self-esteem to come towards you right now. Or I just heard, or the balls. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that. Um, so yeah, two of wands for how you think they're feeling. Like I said, you could feel like they chose someone else. You could feel like they've moved on. P possibly you feel like they've moved on to a karmic or they're choosing the karmic over you is what I'm hearing. Interesting. How do you think they're feeling about you? I'm also hearing lack of... I'm also, I kind of, that's the three of pentacles, but I didn't mean, like, I, I stopped to say something, so I'll talk about the three of pentacles. But the queen of wands in reverse could also be that... You feel like this person doesn't feel an energetic tie with you anymore or a spiritual connection. Um, I know that's really specific for some of you, but the Queen of Wands is the queen that's connected to spirit through the wand. Um, and with it in reverse, you could feel like they don't feel that connection with you anymore. Um but it's interesting because the first card I cut open to was the Two of Cups, where the two of them were connected through the crown chakra. Anyway, interesting. Um, I, I do, I feel like for some of you, you feel like this person feels like they don't feel that special connection anymore. And I don't think that's true. Um, for some of you, I feel like maybe... If there's a third party, you're feeling like they're choosing the third party over you, or maybe they're already married and they're choosing to stay in that connection. That's how you're thinking they're feeling. Interesting. All right, let's see how you think they're feeling about you. There was three of pentacles that came out, and the three of pentacles can symbolize, you know for how they're thinking about you, three of pentacles, 
you could feel like they feel like they can't match your energy, especially if there's a third party in there. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Very interesting. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is very, very, very slow. And this is an interesting one. I'm going to grab my tarot book for a second. This one. Because that Knight of Pentacles, look at that. I just opened right up to the Knight of Pentacles. That is magic. And it's on page 143. Oh my gosh. Um, so there is a message here. How do you think they feel about you? Deep down, you know they love you. I mean, that wasn't an accident. How I, I opened right up to that page and it's page 143. It's not the middle of the book either. So don't even give me that. <laughs> So deep down, intuitively, you know they love you. Um, anyway, the reason I got this. This is really interesting because I was hearing the reversal, like I was feeling the reversal energy for this Knight of Pentacles for how you think they feel about you. Forgotten. Um, for some of you, I feel like they're moving so slowly that you feel like they've left you behind. I really, that's what's coming through here. You know, I think you know that whatever the situation, whether, whether there's a third party or not, I feel like you know this person is going to have to be dedicated if this is going to work, this connection is going to work. Um, whatever that means, there must be some kind of obstacle. Like, like I said, maybe this person fears commitment. Um, and there is this fear that they're leaving you behind, that they've forgotten about you, that they don't see you anymore. I'm seeing with this card here. We see this very small person right here, kind of down on their knees. And they're about to get trampled by that horse. Um, I just feel like you feel like this person is leaving you behind. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. If you feel that way. <laughs> There's a reason I don't do many of these readings. It's because I hate to tell the viewer how they're feeling. <laughs> you feel this way. <laughs> I'm just here to read the cards. I'm not telling you how to feel. <laughs> All right. So I want to stop here for a second. And I want to see how this person is doing. So let's look at this person's current energy. We have the three of pentacles. <laughs> That's very interesting. So three of pentacles shows an energy of wanting to work things out. And what's really interesting is it's almost like I'm hearing that whoever you are, you are doubting your intuition, you're doubting your your connection with spirit. Um, I feel like you are connected to spirit and you do see signs and synchronicities and you doubt them. Because when I said, how is this person feeling about you? Um, that three of pentacles kind of showed itself and then went back in. And this is someone who's wanting to work things out with you, wanting to offer you, you know, a connection that's beneficial for you both, um, not just them. Anyway, three of pentacles, this person is, you know, three of pentacles is about communication. And we have the knight of swords, sorry, threes are about communication. And this is very interesting. On the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands. So to me, this is symbolic of this person. I'm hearing a few things, bear with me. One. I feel like if your person is in a third party or in a marriage, for example, the nine of wands can sometimes represent, you know, a very taxing or it's a connection that requires hard work. And I don't mean in the sense of like counterpart energy. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, a situation where someone's unhappy and they're not fulfilled and there's arguments and that's what I'm talking about, that type of difficulty. And for some of you, this person could be, like you think, 
trying to work it out with that karmic or that third party if you're resonating with that. But what I'm seeing is they're having a breakthrough moment. Look at that. They're having a breakthrough moment. They've hit a turning point. Look, two of cups. They're realizing you and you're connected um, to this person. And this person's having a breakthrough moment. For those of you who don't resonate with the third party, what's happening here is this person is working on themselves. This person could even be talking to other people about how to improve themselves. The nine of wands can symbolize self-improvement, um, especially, you know, when it comes to someone who has childhood wounding. So perhaps your person is getting help with this, getting advice about this. Um, there is this feeling of wanting to communicate with you. Let's see how they're feeling about this connection. Ten of Pentacles. It came out when we were shuffling. This person sees long term with you. They're feeling like you're their long term person. <laughs> you're their lobster. Ten of Pentacles. Very interesting. I feel like this person, there's a lot of threes coming out on their side, which are very symbolic of wanting to cooperate and make things work and talk to you. Um, right now, this person is feeling the long term possibility of this connection with you. Um, the three of pentacles, my ears are like, my ears, oh my gosh, my ears are ringing like mad right now. I, I honestly see your person as someone who's looking at things, trying to figure out how to make this work, how to come towards you. And I feel like you could be feeling forgotten about, like they don't think about you. The three of cups and the nine of cups for how they feel about the situation you know, they're realizing that this is the situation they want to be in. This is the connection they want to give their energy to. Nine of Cups. You know, this is someone who knows they want to follow their intuition here. And their intuition is telling you, them, that this is long term. Very interesting. For some of you, this could be a friend I'm hearing. Like someone that you've never... Like for some of you, this could be a friend that you're in love with. Um, take it as it resonates. Interesting. So let's see how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about you? Temperance. Temperance. This person is trying to be patient. This person is trying to heal themselves. One thing I'm hearing is that this person... Um, this person... What am I trying to say? Healing elixir, you have something, there's something about you that is very healing to this person and makes this person possibly reflect on the way they can improve. Um, for how they're feeling about you, they're trying to be patient here. This is someone who doesn't want to mess this up, you know? Very interesting. I almost want to get one more for that and one more for yours. How are they feeling about you? I'm looking at that temperance card. I need more. <laughs> Show me that temperance card. We have ten of cups. Yes. <laughs> Six of cups. Sign. Sign. I knew there was more. I knew it. For how they're feeling about you. You're their ten of cups. They feel a soul connection with you. Meanwhile, I feel like you're over here feeling like they have they don't feel it anymore. Maybe the two of you talked about this insane connection. I don't know. Um, this could be someone who's also for the third parties out there that's ready to release that other connection because they know you're it. Um, Six of Cups, they're very nostalgic about you. Childhood wounding, I'm hearing, could be symbolic in this pile. Now I'm going to hop over and get the chariot. That's how they're feeling. That's what I'm telling you. They're feeling the need to rush towards you with this clarity. Anyway, they feel connected to you. Very cool. Let's get one more for how you think they're feeling about you. <laughs> Maybe your attitude has changed. <laughs> That'll be interesting. 
So my friends, let me ask you again, how do you think they're feeling about you? <laughs> how do you think they're feeling about you? We have Ace of Cups. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Did I just renew your hope a little? <laughs> Because Ace of Cups is renewed hope, and I think it's interesting. <laughs> I just felt the energy shift. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe you do think or feel or know that they still hold this cup for you, you know? Um, very beautiful. Ace of Cups. Renewal energy. So you could feel like this person through this reading you could be feeling like oh maybe they do want to renew things with me <laughs> we have the nine of pentacles for how you think they feel about you so clearly you've accomplished you've accomplished something here um, in your own growth because for how you think they feel about you there is this energy of you looking like you've been through a lot of growth or a glow up so you could be feeling much better right now um we also have the ace of cups so for how you think they feel about you so you could be someone that while you were with this person you had low self-esteem and perhaps your self-esteem has grown and you've become more independent um and maybe you know you know your person sees this in you all right so let's ask what you think their intentions towards you are how do you No, I don't want to go there yet. Let's do. What do you think their intuition is telling them to do? So what do you think their intuition is telling them to do? We have the 10 of pentacles. Very interesting. This is really interesting. 10 of pentacles for what you think their intuition is telling them. Um, this is really, I'm hearing a few things. For some of you, you could feel like this person's intuition is telling them to stay. I'm hearing very clear messages here for like third party situations. And for some of you, I feel like you believe their intuition is telling them to stay in what they've already built, you know, um, if that applies to you. It's a really interesting energy. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing that you think their intuition tells them things like, oh, well, your family wouldn't approve of pile one or there's this, there's this energy of maybe not having their family's approval and you think that that's what their intuition is telling them. Like maybe they're making decisions based on Maybe their intuition is telling them to stay where they are, to stay in the foundation they've already built. Um, what would people say? What would, would what would their children think? And that, my friend, is actually an, your ego and anxiety and things like that. Um, that's that devil energy trying to push you off your course when your intuition knows different. Um, that's what, what I mean. It's a very... That's not going to resonate with a lot of people. That's a really specific message. <laughs> um, the other thing I'm hearing is you feel like for some of you, you think that this person's intuition is guiding them to think long term. You know, I can tell that I've got a few intuitives in here that actually know what's going on with their person through just their intuitive awareness. Um, I also feel for some of you that this person, you feel like their intuition is telling them if they come towards you, you'll cut them off or that you've already cut them off, you know? All right, let's see what you think this person's intentions with you are. We have justice and five of cups. 
it's very like, I don't know if you're someone who is like one day you believe in spirituality and the next day you don't. I don't know if I've just got two very different collectives in this pile where some of you are intuitive and some of you aren't. And some of you, it's almost like this back and forth of believing in it and not believing in it. And I'm having like a really, like it's hard to channel. Um, you know, usually the messages come very clear. This is like, you think they're going to bring you justice and then nope, you think they're going to break your heart. It's like, that's what I mean. I've, I've either got two different collectives or I'm, I'm talking to an individual who's going through some type of lesson about your intuition where you feel like you're on a roller coaster and you feel like you're entangled when she leaves the tower and she's having mood swings and she doesn't know what is up and what is down and what to think. Um, that, cause that's the energy that I'm getting. I'm not going to lie. Um, so for some of you, I feel the intuitive people. I feel like you intuitively feel like this person has possibly released you and moved on. Um, For some of you, sorry, the highly intuitive ones, what I'm seeing is you feel like this ending has caused your person perhaps to go through karma, to have realizations, um, and you feel like they want to make this right. For the people in the third party situation, I feel like perhaps you feel like this person doesn't intend to choose you because they couldn't. They're too worried about hurting somebody else. You know, they're too worried about the, I'm hearing carnage that that would cause. And that's what I mean is society and our ego and our fear will make us believe that we're hurting everybody else by choosing ourselves. And to your person, that's not true. Um, but I feel like maybe for some of you, you feel like this person could never leave that other Ten of Pentacles situation. Anyway, take it as it resonates, my friends. So let's look at what their intuition is telling them about you. What is their intuition telling them about my pile one? Interesting. The cards are acting very strange. Hang on. What are What is your intuition telling you, my friend? Judgment. So this is, this is very interesting. Their intuition is telling them that it's time to wake up. It's time to make a judgment call. Their intuition is telling them it's time to take accountability. It's time to communicate. It's time to come out of the hermit hole. It's time to make a decision for them, not based on the judgment of others. For some of you, their intuition is telling them it's renewal time. Um, what's really interesting is how the cards were behaving. Um, very interesting energy in this pile. For some of you, their intuition is telling them it's time to release that other person. Um, it's like, I'm telling you, the universe is working on this person because I feel like they are possibly similar to if you feel like you're on an up and down journey where one day you believe this person loves you, the next day you believe that you'll never hear from them again, the next day you think that you're communicating with them in the, your dreams, the next day you think that they've already forgotten your name and moved on. If you're in that kind of up and down energy, which I'm kind of seeing in this pile, it's very symbolic that the universe is working very hard to get your person to wake up and that your person similarly is going through something where it feels like the universe is prodding them with this poker. It feels like their intuition is constantly giving them downloads and giving them like pushing them to awaken, pushing them to make a decision. And I don't mean that in 
the universe can do what it needs to do. I'm not here to tell the universe it can't push anyone. You do you, universe. <laughs> we can't push people to change, but the universe can. <laughs> um, so their intuition is, you know, really working hard here, prodding them, saying it's time to take accountability. It's time to make a decision. It's time to release yourself. It's time to change your old ways. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see what their intentions towards you are, my friend. What are their intentions towards you? Intentions towards you. I told you so. <laughs> Interesting. We have the Queen of Swords. What? That is very interesting. I need to rewind just for a freaking second here. With the Queen of Swords. That's very interesting. The Queen of Swords came out on your side. And for some of you, you could feel like their intuition is telling them it's time because that's what placement it came out in, out in yours was what is their intuition telling them. For some of you, you could feel like their intuition is telling them it's time to tell the truth. It's time to be their authentic self and stop living for other people. Anyway, their intentions here are to be honest with you. Very honest. Um, this is authentic truth, you know? Very interesting. For some of you, for some of you, I'm hearing that this person may be, look, there's the renewal, Ace of Cups. I feel like this person may come in. They're intending to come in kind of with the guard up is what I'm hearing for intentions. Is they want to come towards you, but they're coming in with kind of they're protecting themselves on their way in. And I don't mean they're going to come in and, you know, be mean to you. That's not what I mean. Queen of Swords is they're coming in to speak their authentic truth. They're kind of not going to let their emotions get the best of them. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's see what their next, what you think their next action will be. What do you think their next action will be, Pile 1? We have the Three of Wands and the Chariot. So you feel like this person is coming towards you. And I feel like you gaslight yourself out of it. I really do. I'm sorry to say it. I feel like deep down, your internal little caterpillar has been whispering at you that you've been right. Your intuition is right. Um... Anyway, intuitively, it seems like you know this person is coming towards you, the Chariot and the Three of Wands. You know, you feel like they're going to come towards you. For some of you, you feel like they're going to leave that situation they need to leave. Eight of Cups. Let's get one more for what you think they're going to do. What do you think they're going to do? We have the two of wands. So you think they're going to change a pattern. You think they're going to change the direction of their life. They're going to choose this and come towards you, the star. For some of you, you feel like this person is finally going to release that past person. Maybe I just needed to talk your ego monster down. Like maybe your ego monster was here looking for cookies, you know? And perhaps the more we got into the energy, the more... Your little caterpillar started to emerge um, because to me, it looks like you think that this person wants to fix things with you and to release the past, whatever that means to you. All right, let's see their next actions. Show me your person's next actions towards you. We have the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups. And the Eight of Cups shows them walking away from what no longer serves them. They know that the foundation they already built will not bring them the fulfillment that they need. And they're heading towards their Nine of Cups. And when we were talking about it earlier, you were coming out as their Nine of Cups. 
We have Six of Cups, which is them reaching out to you. It's them connecting with you. It's them walking away from things that no longer serve them. Like I said, whatever that means to you. Let's get another one. Actions. The Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the emperor. They're going to take action towards you. They're going to take charge of the situation. Beautiful. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. That's beautiful. So what I'm going to look at how you how you feel they want this. Like, what do they see in the future with you? How do you think they see the future when they think of you? How do you think they see the future when they think of you? Knight of Wands almost came out. Didn't want to. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is... That's a very interesting energy because for some of you, that's waiting. Um, this is really interesting. Seven of Pentacles... I think you feel like this person thinks this is worth investing in, but you know, they're taking their time. They're wanting to make the right investments or whatever. Um, Seven of Pentacles is kind of a waiting energy. So perhaps for some of you, you feel like you're, when your person thinks about the future, they're, it's like they're thinking, they're waiting for the right time to move towards you. They're waiting for the right timing, you know, right person, wrong time, all that yeah very interesting i want to get one more for that oh we have the chariot so seven seven so sevens very interesting This is what I mean. It's like you you feel like they're waiting for the right time or like when the I'm just hearing when the timing is right, you know, when all things align. And we all know that sometimes we can't control the alignment of things to be the right time. Um, for example, some of us will say like, oh, well, I want to work on my career and do these things before I have a kid. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> And let's see their, how they actually see the future. So what do they what do they think of when they think of the future with you? How do they see the future with you? Can I get two? This is very interesting. When they think of the future, they think of choosing you they think of well they think of having to make a choice that's why for some of you I think there's another person um, but they think of you of choosing you and of surrendering to this connection the hanged man um, like I said for some of you they they know they have to release something or a way of thinking or an addiction or something so that they can have you know a happy ending with you. The third party energy is quite strong um, here. Like I said, if that's you, you'll know. I'm not talking about a third party you don't know about. But it is, there's like, there is this queen of wands. And it feels for some of them, they know when they think of the future that they have to release someone else. Um, like I said, that's just for some of you. And look, seven of pentacles, which is mirroring. Um, how you think they feel, you know, that this is worth investing in. But for some of you, there needs to be a choice made, is what I'm hearing. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I was a little, like, up and down in there. Um, I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I'm looking at someone who's doubting their intuition. Or... Yeah, or if I just had two collectives. Interesting. I'll be interested in the comments. I love you guys so much. I'm going on to pile two. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. 
Hello Pile 2 and welcome to your reading. If you chose Pile 2, the Dreamy Moons Tarot and this piece of opal heart, this is going to be your reading about how you think your person is feeling about this connection versus how they're actually feeling. I have no idea why this topic confuses my brain so much. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. I don't do many of these types of readings because first of all, I'm like, I'm someone who doesn't want to be telling you how you're feeling because I don't actually know how you're feeling. I just know what the cards are saying. Um, <laughs> anyway, and then the other is, I just, I don't know why I struggle Anyway, I was, anyway, <laughs> it was really interesting because for pile one in the intro, it, it wouldn't focus on the crystal or whatever. And then pile one was very confusing. So maybe you're here to bring me more clarity, my pile two. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. We're going to shuffle this deck first. This is going to be how you think they're feeling about you, this deck. And then the other deck, whatever one I choose when the time comes, is going to be how they're actually feeling about you. So what do we have? We have the Five of Swords. Are you kidding me? That's what came out when I first... It might have been on the bottom of the deck, or that's what I cut open to for Pile 1. So strange. So Five of Swords... I need one more card. One more card before I can start. Five of Pentacles, interesting. So you feel like they're maybe in their head right now, feeling very rejected, left out in the cold. Very interesting. This is how you think they're feeling. Very interesting. So you think they're missing you. They think they're feeling left out. They're, they could be in their head about you. Queen of Cups, missing your energy, missing your nurturing energy. Um, you could have overgave to this person. Interesting. Let's get one more shuffle. We have the two of wands. So perhaps you feel like they are looking at what they need to change about themselves in order to come towards you because that queen of cups, her cup was covered. And so it does feel like you feel this person is feeling cut off from you in some way, like feeling out lonely, feeling isolated from you. Did you Queen of Swords them? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> All right. We have the Nine of Crystals in reverse. So this is actually very interesting because it seems to me like you feel like this person is working on themselves in isolation. Very nice, very nice. All right, so we're gonna set you over here and I'm gonna pick a deck for your person, let's see. I kind of want to choose, I used to use this one. Oh my gosh, I used to use it all the time. And I don't use it anymore, like, or not anymore. I just don't use it as much. Um, when I did personal readings, I would use this deck so many times. Anyway, um, I'm feeling nostalgic. So maybe your person is feeling nostalgic. Because uh, right away, I'm feeling nostalgic when I pick up this deck. Um, and this is supposed to be your person's feelings. Um, right away on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So this person is feeling like you've walked away from them, you know? The star, they haven't been able to let you go. Interesting. All right. Wheel of Fortune, they feel like you're destined. The Wheel of Fortune could show that they're making adjustments, you know? They're taking matters into their own hands, I just heard. <laughs> Six of Swords in reverse, unable to move on from you. Interesting. Unable to let you go. Very interesting. It stopped recording, but why? <laughs> what does it mean? It means Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> so very interesting how they're, you know, we see Queen of Cups. They're seeing... 
They're seeing you exactly how you think they're seeing you. Very interesting. I'm interested in this pile. I mean, I'm interested in all the piles. <laughs> but interesting. <laughs> Very strong bond. That, that, um, that strength card. And I'm hearing you brought out the softest sides of me, but also the worst. And my third eye is like pounding right now. Eight of Pentacles, they're feeling, oh, this is renewal energy, wanting to work on this, wanting to, listen, this is very interesting because this seems like it's someone who's actually working on themselves, who's looking at their cycles, and it seems like that's what you think they're doing. So let's get into it. First, we're going to see how you think they're feeling. Um, so let's see how you think they're doing right now, okay? How do you think they're doing right now without you? I mean, maybe not even without you, I just heard. For some of you, you could be with this person. <laughs> we have the Page of Cups. So you think that they're following their intuition? Um, you could feel like they are working on their emotional vulnerability. We have the Fool. So for some of you, you feel like they're getting ready to come towards you. Like I said, this doesn't have to be, you know, two people in separation. I felt very nostalgic, though. So for some reason, I'm feeling perhaps separation. But for some of you, you know, this could be a crush that you have. This could be a new connection. Um, but anyway, how you think they're what you think they're doing. Um, I'm seeing you think they're following their intuition. Um, and we have the fool. So it feels like for some of you, you think they're about to make some type of offer towards you or apologize for something. I mean, yeah, we have the fool and the nine of cups. You feel like this person knows that you're their nine of cups. Very interesting. Let's see how you think they're feeling about the situation. How do you think they're feeling about the situation? How do you think they're feeling about the situation? The Empress in reverse, that's lack of self-esteem. Um, like they're not enough for you. I feel like I'm talking to somebody pretty tapped in. Um, just because the Empress in reverse, it shows that you feel like this person is feeling like they don't have enough to offer you. Um, that they can't give to you what you need that's what you think they're thinking about this connection maybe this person even told you that this person could have said i need to work on myself so that i can be enough for you seriously the grass is not growing explain this to me please i mean this is i to me <laughs> when people you can't <sighs> Can you, is it really somebody's happiness to be mowing the lawn or does that show lack of fulfillment somewhere else? You know, I wonder about that. I used to own a duplex and the people who lived next to us, very unhappy family. And the dad was always outside doing the lawn, building something, hiding going out, going to Tim's, never home, um, always outside. And I felt like, what is missing that you feel like you have to? Anyway, I'm talking, please understand me. The grass is not growing. So why are we cutting it? It is April. It's not even green yet. So what are we cutting? <laughs> anyway, sorry for the rant. <laughs> are you a pile three person? Anyway, are you in my soul tribe? Um, the Empress in reverse, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this person told you they needed to transform before they were, uh, could be enough for you. Cause that's how you're thinking they're feeling about this. Very interesting. Let's see how you think they're feeling about you. I'm going to get two cards for this one. How do you think they're feeling about you? The lovers, unexplainable connection. Mm hmm. You think they're about to reach out? Mm hmm. You think they want to invest in this? That's what you're feeling. All right. I see you. <laughs> I see you, my little unicorn. <laughs> Very interesting. 
again, I'm getting this, like I'm hearing someone, I'm not enough for you, or like I need to work on myself before I can give you what you deserve. Um, very interesting. An ace of stars on the bottom is ace of pentacles. So definitely you think that this person wants to offer you something, but that maybe they need to work on themselves so that they can offer it. So interesting. And the lovers, you know, an unexplainable connection, an unbreakable bond. And what were we seeing in your person's energy? That energy. <laughs> anyway, listen, if your person reflects what you're thinking, your magic, your unicorn, okay? <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> how are they feeling about you? That can also be you think they need, they feel like they need to make a choice to come towards you. But anyway, how do you think they're feeling about you right now? The king of crystals wanting to give you clarity <laughs> and truth, perhaps an apology. <laughs> the star healing, wish fulfillment. You feel like this person wants to give you clarity about something that they feel like they can't let you go. That's what I was feeling in their energy too, my little unicorn. <laughs> I wish I had a unicorn within reach. I need to get more unicorns. Yeah, that's what I need to do. King of Crystals. So you feel like this person is thinking about you in a clear way, gaining clarity on you, um, thinking about this logically. And if this is someone who said to you, I need to work on myself before I can be enough for you, I trigger people when I say stuff like that. I said that in a reading and I said, that's actually very mature. It would be more immature for them to pretend like, like they were enough and to then not be able to give you everything you need and hurt you or leave you hanging. And someone was like, that is the most immature thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you need to be better before you can be with me. How immature. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> Anyway, I feel like you think this person's looking at this very logically right now, you know, um, that they do need to work on themselves in order to be enough for you is what I'm seeing. Anyway, let's see what you think their intuition is telling them about you. What do you think their intuition is saying to them? We have the emperor, my, my unicorn. I just want to grab you and I just want to kiss you. <laughs> I seriously do. I'm just, seriously. <laughs> I just want to grab you and kiss you. How sweet are you? <laughs> you feel like this person's intuition tells them that they need to level up if they're going to be enough for you, if they're going to provide for you. You feel like their intuition is telling them you need to be a, you know, a stronger person. You need to stabilize your own self you need to get your job in order you need to finish those things that you said you'd finish so that you can support that empress so that you can meet that empress and be a partner to that empress um and you know you think their intuition tells them that you're worth investing into and that you are someone look queen of pentacles that you are someone who they've got you on a pedestal. Sorry, this is how you think they're feeling, but I I honestly feel like this is reality, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it feels like you think their intuition tells them that person is stable, that person has a foundation, and you need to have one if you're going to meet that person at their level. Um, because... Possibly this person has you up on a pedestal. Maybe you're older than this person, you know? Um, anyway, oh, my, like, seriously, kiss to you. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you on your little unicorn horn. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, let's see what you think their intentions towards you are. What do you think their intentions towards you are? I feel giddy. What do you think their intentions are? We have the three of stars kind of peeking out, but it didn't actually come out. So I don't want to take it. 
but you think that their intentions are to work things out with you to bring you reciprocal energy but let's see what do you think their intentions are towards you we have justice listen my friend <laughs> You're so bang on the money. Go buy a lottery ticket or something or start your own tarot channel, please. <laughs> this is the type of thing like I'd used to get cards. I used to get cards like these and I'd be like, if this all comes true, I'm going to be a tarot reader. <laughs> and then it would come true and I'd be like, I don't need you anymore, tarot. <laughs> and then, of course, I would have a tower moment. Um, but anyway, this is powerful stuff. I feel... Your intuition, or sorry, you think their intentions are to bring you justice and resolution and fix things. Five of Wands in reverse. It's just amazing. It's like, ah, chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm so giddy. <laughs> mm, can I stay here all day, pile two? <laughs> all right, let's get your person's energy now. We already shuffled. So let's see how your person is doing right now. How is your person doing right now? I don't want to knock these cards everywhere. I don't want to listen. Do you I'm shuffling and I'm worried. I'm like, where do I like? I don't want to mess up what you've got going on there. Pile two. And like, that's your person's energy. They don't want to mess up what you've got going on. They don't want to come in. I'm hearing half-assed. <laughs> I feel like if I say it out of the corner of my mouth, I'm actually not saying it. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see how they're currently doing. How's your person doing? We've got three of wands. Beautiful. Look, look. <laughs> you guys, I just can't. I can't. My friends, you are magical. Look at this. I just can't believe this. You intuitively thought that they were coming towards you with an apology and that's what's happening oh, i just can't believe it current energy they're trying to make moves forward in their own life so that they can come in with an apology this is someone who's planning on how to approach you and ask for forgiveness or to make things right or to end the separation <laughs> yay which is what you thought <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, remember you thought they wanted to give you an offer. <laughs> Please, your magic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like, oh, this is good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see how they are feeling about this situation. How are they feeling about this situation? Didn't want to come out. It was the Knight of Wands. Didn't want to come out. Again, I'm being very... I'm being very, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is bananas, <laughs> B-A-N-A-N-A-S, <laughs> um, for how they're feeling about this current situation, they don't feel like they have enough to offer you, which is exactly what you thought they were feeling, they feel like they still need growth before they can offer you something stable. This could be someone who already apologized and asked for forgiveness or whatever, but doesn't want commitment right now. Because um, exactly like you thought, this person is lacking confidence in the situation and growth. So you, this person could be younger than you. Um, anyway, this person feels like they still have things they're working on before they can have this renewal. Um, this person is looking at the way they approached this situation in the past and seeing what they need to improve in their own energy. Uh, this is someone who's reflecting a lot on how they approached certain situations with you and what they need to change. It's beautiful. It is mature. Stop it. <laughs> I don't understand why people are so opposed, like, don't get me wrong, I was that person, you know, when someone told me that they needed to work on themselves, that they weren't ready for commitment, I did the same thing as everybody else, and I was like, well, if you loved me, you would do this, and you would do that, and I was all judgmental. <laughs> anyway, it's actually much more 
healing to take your time. And this person clearly knows they want to be able to give to you. Um, beautiful. Let's see how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about you? What is happening with these cards? <laughs> Very interesting. I was shuffling that deck upside down. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, what is going on with these cards? I picked the deck upside down. Anyway, I'm going to take this in the upright for how they're feeling about you. Um, this is someone who... I mean, I'll talk about the reversal too. But this is someone who feels like you're not on the same level right now. You know, this is like this page of pentacles, which is about growth. This person feels that they, they're still learning about themselves, um, but they're also learning about you. You know, this could be someone who is feeling, this could be someone who's watching you and perhaps they're learning about you that way. Perhaps you're in the spotlight or perhaps they see you talking to people at work, whatever it is. Um, this this is someone who feels like they want to communicate. But this page in reverse kind of makes me feel, I'm going to make sure my deck is the right way next time, makes me feel like this person doesn't feel like they're quite ready to come in with that full clarity. You know, we've got the King of Crystals over here for how you think their feelings. So they definitely want to bring clarity to this, but they're feeling like they still need more time. Upright or not, a page is, you know, a, it's the youngest court card. So this person is coming up in kind of an, an immature energy or an energy that's, you know, could be younger than you, doesn't have to be. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, showing this person has a lot of attraction to you. You know, they feel that energy that you thought they were feeling, that energetic pull. Uh, lots of, you know, sexual energy. <laughs> oh, look, the lovers is right there. That's funny that the lovers, it's showing itself. Um, that's That's fun. Um, this is also someone who's feeling like they do want to take control of their love life. But like I said, it's like they're working on their own life first. And that is actually a good thing. This is someone who, you know, I think wants to come in steady and stable. We have the six of cups here. There's that nostalgic energy that I was feeling when I picked up this deck. It was, you know a longing, remembering the good times, wanting to reconnect. King of Pentacles, interesting. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get one more for how this person is feeling about you. King of Swords! <laughs> you are magic, okay? Can I just say that? Look at this, because I said, how do you think they feel, King of Swords? How do they feel, King of Swords? You're magic. Look, mirroring. You're on it, my friend. You are tapped into the juice. <laughs> um, King of Swords. So they're feeling, like I said with the page, they're feeling like they need to have more clarity before they can fully commit to this, before they can fully communicate and bring you the clarity you deserve. Beautiful. I love it, my friend. I love it. Um, this person could also be feeling like... For some of you, you may even be talking to this person as friends or this person is feeling like they're almost ready to come in and say, could we be friends? And I wouldn't be surprised if they say, I want more, but I'm still working on myself. Anyway, um, let's see what their intuition is currently telling them about this connection. What is their intuition telling them? The king of pentacles i was looking at that emperor and i was like emperor if you come out <laughs> so this is so oh, this is so yes um king of pentacles their intuition is telling them that they need to be stable in themselves before they can come in because you deserve equal give and take and reciprocity which is everything we've been saying and you've been knowing so their intuition is telling them, wait until you're stable. They feel like they want to rush in King of Wands with their wand and, you know, have you and embrace you. 
but their intuition is telling them, take it slow, build your own foundation so that you can give to that person so that you can give them equal give and take and it doesn't become imbalanced. Beautiful. Let's see what their intentions are. Look, balance, temperance, so it doesn't become unbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> That's magic. Um, that is cool, man. <laughs> Let's see their intentions. Death and rebirth. <laughs> A second chance, two of cups. I told you. <laughs> you. Well, I didn't need to tell you. You told me. <laughs> Seriously, you told me that you already knew this. Um, we have a fresh start. Two of cups, deepening of that connection. So if that friendship energy comes in, their intentions are to deepen it to a level of love and intimacy here. Beautiful. They don't want to be isolated anymore. Beautiful. I love it. This person is missing you. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Let's see what you think. Oh, no, that's not your deck. <laughs> Let's see what they think you're going to, what action you think they're going to take towards you. So what action do you think they're going to take towards you? Very interesting. I'm going to get another one, but we have the self. I swear you, my friend, must be spiritual because you feel... Like this person is going to reflect on themselves, their own shadows, before they come towards you. They're going to, you think that they're going to heal things before they come towards you. Five of Cups in reverse. So you feel like this person wants to kind of face their shadows before they come back so that they can come back healed is what I'm hearing. Um, let's get one more for action. What action do you feel like they're going to take? Strength. So you feel like they are going to face those shadows. Like I said, you feel like they're going to strengthen themselves so that they can strengthen this bond. And we do have Knight of Pentacles here. So this person keeps up showing, like, I don't know if they're younger than you, but anyway, um, for what? Well, the action you think they're going to take, you feel like they're determined to come towards you and that they will slowly, that they're dedicated to this. So I don't know if you guys have already had a conversation about this, but deep down your magical unicorn knows that they are going to invest in, ow, invest in this. My elbow just fell off the table. <laughs> Interesting. Now let's look at their actions. So what are their actions going to be towards you? What are their actions towards you? <clears throat> mm, that was interesting. So Hanged Man and Seven of Swords in reverse popped out and popped back in, which would be them um, coming, like coming clean, uh, coming out of the darkness, coming out of silence. What we have is judgment, and that's that renewal that that person's had their eyeballs on, you know? Um, this is a conversation. This is taking accountability. This is a renewal, you know? Um, very interesting for their next actions. And we have King of Wands on the bottom. So they're finally going to do what they've been wanting to do. And that's take action on their love life after they've found stability in their 3D world, you know? Or their pentacle world. Six of Cups, reconnection. There it is. Beautiful. Let's get one more. Ace of Wands, action. Can't it? Queen of Pentacles. Yes. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's a long, like, that's them, like I said, meeting you at your level. This is them investing in this Ace of Wands. That's them coming towards you with passion to reignite the passion. Beautiful. How do you, what do you think this person feels the future holds for you? We have temperance, which is freaking reconciliation. <laughs> I'm telling you. And look, Six of Cups, reconciliation twice. You guys, you are tapped in. <laughs> do something with your gift would you <laughs> help others 
seriously like this is crazy i don't want to leave um temperance you feel like this person knows you'll be together again six of cups that you'll reconcile that you'll be together that you'll grow old together that you'll make new memories maybe you'll lick each other wally's licking something right now that's my cat and i can just hear scrape 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 <laughs> Yeah, right there, little buddy. <laughs> All right, then. Let's see what th they think the future holds. What do you think the future holds for you and Pile 2? What does the future hold for you and Pile 2? We have the Knight of Cups that wanted to peek out, which is re uh, re rekindling. It's re rekindling a romance. What do you think the future holds for you and Pile 2? We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah! We have the Queen of Cups, which remember, at the beginning, you were feeling like they think you're keeping your cup safe. And here we have this beautiful lotus. So they see being able to get, you know, to have access to your energy again. They feel the future holds a very loving, generous, reciprocal connection, a very intuitive connection. This person feels like your paths are meant to come back together, that this is destined and that it's all happening in divine timing. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. There you go. You already knew. You already knew. You already knew. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. <laughs> um, so thank you, Pile 2. I'm going to leave it here. It feels weird just to do tarot, but that's what I planned for today. So yeah, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Do something with your gift. Would you please invest in yourself and your magical gift, you magical unicorn you. And I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, my friends. Oh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> I meant to say hello, pile three. <laughs> but I went into hello, my friends. Well, it is pile three, you know. So hello, my friends. <laughs> and welcome to your reading if you chose the Baroque Tarot and this Labradorite Heart. This is going to be a reading about what you think your person is thinking and feeling and what they're actually feeling and planning and such. <laughs> so I'm going to shuffle your cards first. Um, I'm going to cut the deck in half, actually. So we have Five of Cups. So you could feel like your person is in regret, but we'll see. We'll get some more cards. Seven of coins. Interesting. You could feel like your person is waiting to hear from you. Interesting. Or you could feel like your person is maybe realizing that they should have invested more time in this. There's this energy of waiting. So maybe you feel like your person is waiting for you to reach out to them. We have the Fool. Very interesting. And we have the Knight of Wands. You could feel like this person is afraid of commitment with you for sure. With the Knight of Wands. You could feel like this person, you know, is on the run. Let's cut the deck. And we'll see what's here. We have the five of coins. So isolation, rejection, queen of swords. There you are. It's funny because when I started pile two, very like the same. It was like five of cups and five of pentacles. And I made a joke. I said, what did you queen of swords this person? And I was like, just kidding, but not really. And that's not what came out. Um, but that's what's coming out for you. So again, it feels like you think this person is waiting to hear from you. It's like they think you need to contact them. And I do, I see they feel or you think they feel left out in the cold because you, you put up a boundary, you know, you spoke your authentic truth. Um, very interesting. All right. For your person, I felt called to use my panda tarot for you guys. Um, I got it out. The magician. I got it out um, yesterday and I never ended up using it. 
and today on my Patreon, this is pile three, so for some reason I always speak very openly here without realizing it. Um, this morning for my Patreon people, I actually read a book um, called The Journey, and it's about a panda and a dragon. And so yeah, I felt the need to use this panda deck today after reading that story. So Right away we have, look, I'm stroking, like I'm like petting this deck. Do you see what I'm doing? Very strange. Maybe you like to pet this person or maybe like holding hands, like rubbing each other. I don't know why, like, I, like I'm, I'm rubbing this deck, like it's gonna give me, grant me wishes or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm just feeling into your person's energy too. Um, we've got the magician on the bottom. So this person could be, you know, trying to get their stuff together, magician energy. They could be trying to work on all their pentacles and their swords and things like that, all their elements. Um, trying to make something happen with you, maybe manifesting communication from you. Um, let's shuffle. Ah, oh, the lovers. This person is feeling this lover's energy with you. Again, for some of you, maybe they're waiting for the right time to come in. They're waiting for the right time to make their move or they're waiting for you to reach out to them. They could be manifesting you reaching out to them. We have the star longing for you. They still have hope for this. Haven't been able to let you go. And we have the two of pentacles trying to find balance. Um, interesting. With that seven of pentacles and the five of cups, this person could have, you could feel like they have regret for not being more consistent with you, I'm hearing. Ten of cups, you guys. Oh. They feel like you're their Ten of Cups. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. What did I say about equal give and take? Reciprocity. This is someone you, th you know, for how you think they feel. I think you feel like they have regret for not giving more to this. And then you cut them off, you know? Um, and that's what they're reflecting on. They're reflecting on balance they're reflecting on how to bring more balance to this situation how you were their ten of cups and perhaps they failed to show you that reciprocity maybe they couldn't maybe they you know struggled with giving and receiving love and balancing that um we have the hermit so this is someone who's in deep reflection about you as their ten of cups all right so we're gonna sit you there and we're gonna use your cards first so how do you think this person is currently doing? How do you think this person is doing? Judgment and four of swords. So you feel like this person, queen of swords. <laughs> uh, I just heard they got what they deserved. <laughs> um, I do feel... Like you think your person is going through some type of awakening and you feel like maybe they're receiving bad karma. You could feel like they're feeling like they made the wrong choice. And four of swords, you feel like this person is reflecting about this. You know, um, this is definitely the energy of we're on a break. So this person could be holding back from you right now, um, perhaps because, you know, they need to take accountability. Maybe they did wrong you in some way where you had to cut them off um it's weird that i'm saying cut them off i don't usually say that with the queen of swords i say put up boundaries i don't say cut you off <laughs> maybe you did cut them off though um queen of swords they're feeling right now i don't there's like they feel like there's a coldness there with you um that you're holding back from them That's how you feel, by the way, <laughs> or how you think they're feeling, like they're scared of you or they're worried about approaching you. So let's see how you think they're feeling about this connection. How do you think they're feeling about this connection? 
How do you think we're feeling about this connection? You two could be very different. Knight of Cups, so you feel like they do want to rekindle things, you know? Um, that's how you think they're feeling about this connection. So you could also feel like they're thinking that, you know, they could have promised you things and maybe they couldn't keep those promises. Um, they could feel, you could feel like maybe they think they're too young for you or too immature for you. But there is this energy of rekindling with the Knight of Cups, wanting to talk again, wanting to interact again. Um, what was I just going to say? I can't remember. Something came to my mind, but it left very quickly. If it's important, it'll come. Oh, no, you two could be very different. The reason I'm saying that is because for each pile. No, that's not true. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's just that I'm using, this sounds weird, but because I'm using a deck with humans on it and then pandas, I was thinking maybe the two of you are very different. You know, maybe you are opposites in some ways or come from different worlds or different backgrounds. I just felt the need to say that. Um, so you feel like this person knows that there's a strong bond here. Um, but, you know, you could also feel like your person's ego was triggered. You could feel like you really triggered their ego when you stood up to them. Um, stood up to them. This is what I mean. I Usually I say when you queen of swords them. Um, but I'm using words like stood up and cut off. So that could be symbolic for some of you. Interesting. Let's see how you think they're feeling about you. How do you think they're feeling about you? We have the tower. So you think they're feeling, I did say karma. You could feel like your person is experiencing karma right now. Um, especially if you're intuitive and you know how the universe can sometimes work when somebody has some karma they need to deal with. Um, for some of you, you feel like this person thought this connection was very uh, sh on shaky ground. Um for some of you, I'm hearing the word toxic. Um, you feel like this person feels... This is really interesting. This is where I start to get confused because I'm like, you feel like they feel like you feel like... Blah, 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 blah. Um, you're feeling like they feel cut off from you. No contact. Eight of Swords. Like you're keeping yourself safe from them. Interesting. Let's get another one for how they're feeling about you. Sorry, how you think they're feeling about you. Well, we came out with a bang, didn't we? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So you feel... Like they're feeling like they may need to make adjustments to be with you. You could feel like they feel like this is karma, you know? We have the two of swords. So you feel that they feel about you that it's stuck right now. It's interesting, when I flipped that Wheel of Fortune over, it was actually, when I flipped it over, it was in the upright. But when I flipped it over to look at it, it slightly landed in reverse. And so I do feel like you think this person isn't over this. And that for some reason, perhaps they feel like they can't approach you. You know, that's what I'm getting is you're feeling like they're afraid to approach you or there's something keeping them from approaching you right now. Interesting. We're going to see what you think their intuition is telling them about you. What do you think their intuition is telling them about you? Eight of Wands. So you feel like their intuition is telling them to reach out to you. Um, very interesting. For some of you, you could feel like 
their intuition was telling them that this was moving too fast. I'm not sure if for some of you, maybe this person said, this isn't like, this is moving too fast. Why do we have to move so fast? And maybe, you know, you reacted to that. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that. Um, but yeah, you feel like intuitively their intuition is, sorry, you feel, you intuitively feel that their intuition is telling them that they need to change, they need to grow, and they need to be quick about it. Um, this is rapid change and growth. So yeah, there is this energy that you feel like they're being pushed to grow. For some of you, you could believe or think that your person is getting karma right now, karmic justice, tower moments, um, having realizations. Interesting. What do you think their intentions are? We have the five of coins. Very, very interesting. Um, because we also have the Ten of Coins. And that makes me feel like you think that this person in isolation will grow and evolve um, into this Ten of Pentacles. I think that you're hoping that they intend to invest in themselves and their own healing so that they can invest in this connection. It feels like you think they intend to come out of the cold once they're, I just heard, lick, done licking their wounds. I don't know what's happening here. Interesting. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. So we're going to hop over to your person for a minute. And we're going to see how they are doing. So what energy is your person in right now? We have Five of Cups and King of Pentacles. So this is someone who is in regret, just like you saw. King of Pentacles, this could be someone who is very focused on work right now. Like they could be using work to distract themselves. Um, this is also, you know, someone who's working probably on improving themselves like you think that they're doing. Um, I think you feel like this person thinks they need to improve before they come back. And that's what we see them doing. We also have the devil on the bottom. So this person is obsessively thinking about you. Um, they could be really missing you right now, too. They could be feeling very trapped. Um, it's very, you know, we had the eight of swords come out on your side for how they're how you think they're feeling about you, you know, and they do. They are. They're overthinking about you. Um, I think there's a lot of regret and fear that they've lost you here the queen of cups that they've you know taken your love for granted i'm hearing very interesting there's definitely regret there let's see how they're feeling about this connection five of pentacles mm -hmm. i see you five of pentacles they're feeling left out in the cold and rejected and, you know, maybe this is what they need. Maybe they needed, you know, to hit rock bottom to build back up to that Ten of Pentacles to start working on their own foundation. But, yeah, they're feeling very left out in the cold right now. Very isolated. Very alone. Seven of Pentacles. Remember, Seven of Pentacles came out on your side for how you thought they were doing. And it's this energy of almost waiting like waiting to see what happens. Very interesting. I do hope this person is choosing to invest in themselves. That's kind of what I see here is they're, they're trying to invest in themselves more. Um, interesting. How else are they feeling? No, that's the connection. How are they feeling about you? We have the hermit. This is very interesting because that's what you thought. You thought this person was reflecting about this and they are. Uh, this person's, you know, very isolated right now, very isolated energy. And I feel like they could be looking at some of the ways they pushed you away here. Um, this person could have become very defensive. This person could have projected onto you. Um, and they're reflecting about this. They're reflecting about maybe how defensive they were or in ways which they can be defensive. That's what I see here. There's also this energy of realizing that they want to fight for this, that, you know, they do want to pick themselves up off the floor here and stabilize themselves. Let's get another one for how they're feeling about you. 
we have the King of Swords and the Devil. So they're trying to look at this logically. Their ego could be very much at play here. Their ego could be really pulling them down. Um, there's definitely, you know, obsessive thinking about you, trying to gain clarity. You think that's the energy they're in. That's the energy they're in, you know? Um, they are trying to gain clarity on the situation. I feel there's a lot of reflection, too, going on about perhaps in ways that they may have been toxic. Because remember that tower card I heard toxic? Um, they could have had, you know, I feel like right now they're feeling like they need to really reflect and look at this logically and see how they hurt you um, with maybe some of their own shadows. You know, this person could be reflecting on how maybe they were very wounded and perhaps you were trying to help them. Perhaps you were trying to offer them love and you felt kind of like they projected it back onto you or they, you know, it's the energy of trying to help a wounded animal. So they're reflecting on maybe how they hurt you while they while you were trying to help them is what I'm hearing. And yeah, we have the tower on the bottom and that's how you were kind of thinking this person was feeling. So this person is trying to gain clarity after this tower moment. Um, they're very isolated, I'm seeing. All right, let's see what their intuition is telling them. King of Wands, their, their little intuition is telling them that, well, first of all, their intuition is trying to get through to them right now. The King of Wands is the, the king that's most uh, in contact with the spirit world. Um, and you see this king has his hands on two wands there. Um, so I feel like this person's intuition is telling them that this can be saved. You can grow. You can still have this, you know? Um, there's a lot of passion here towards you. And I just see this salamander, the regeneration, you know? It's like their intuition is telling them, yes, there was a tower moment, but you can come back from this. Um, and their intuition is telling them to have confidence. Um, it's like their intuition is trying to give them a pep talk is what I'm hearing. We have the nine of cups. So their intuition tells them pile three is your person, you know, go towards pile three. That's your person. Anyway, interesting. Let's see what their intentions towards you are. We have judgment. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking about this card. That is so weird. Right before I was looking at the Nine of Cups and I was thinking about the reading I did yesterday with the panda on the second pile. And I said, it looks like in my panda deck, the Nine of Cups panda. And I was thinking of the wrong panda. And right before, when I was shuffling, I was thinking about that panda. And the card that I was actually thinking about when I was thinking about that panda just came out. I was just thinking about mentioning that to you which is crazy. And actually, if I think about it, like, look at that. This panda's chilling on its back, right? It's just laying there. Um, doesn't that look like that panda? And the pile that it was on yesterday was an energy of judgment, like the pile judgment. Anyway, very interesting. Um, but for your person's intentions, they want to make this right. They want to communicate their truth. They want to have a renewal. Um, they want to free themselves from this isolation. They want to have a conversation. And we have six of cups on the bottom for their intentions. So their intentions are to reconnect with you. The crow agrees. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, let's get next actions. What do you think their next actions will be? We have the page of coins. Very interesting. And temperance. So you feel like they're going to come in with an offer, a small offer, perhaps just like a, hey, how are you? You feel like they are going to offer you or take action towards you and offer you something, whether that's an apology, a gift, closure, 
you do feel like they're going to offer you something here. We also have temperance here. So you feel like this person is going to be patient about this action they take and they're going to come they're going to come in in a balanced way. Let's see what their next action is. What is their next action? What is their next action? I also want to mention something that I'm seeing in your person's energy because the very first card we had was the magician. And I said, maybe this is someone who's working on all of their elements, who's working on all of their energies. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. We have the king of pentacles. We have the king of swords. We have the king of wands. And that's very symbolic of someone who's working on themselves who's not stagnant, they're healing. Um, anyway, their next actions. I was just thinking about that. We have the four of pentacles. I need to get another one of that. I just saw the nine of wands pop out. And what I'm hearing is they're holding back until they're more improved, which is exactly what you thought they're doing or that you think they're doing. You think they're going to be slow about coming in and maybe they'll just reach out and say, hey, or just apologize. Um, this is someone who is kind of being patient about coming in. And the nine of wands shows, you know, the last push. Um, so it does feel like this person is trying to come in right. That's why we see the improvement with the, with the cards. Anyway, on the bottom, we have eight of pentacles, which is renewal. Their next actions, I just want to get one more. Strength, seven of swords in reverse. So this is someone who wants to strengthen this connection. The next action they're going to take, like I said, they're going to, they're taking their time about coming in just like you think they are, but that they're going to come in possibly, you know, I think their ego is going to be balanced. Like they're not going to come in from a place of ego Seven of Swords shows them wanting to come in and offer you clarity, offer you truth. They don't want to run away from this anymore. They don't want to hide from it anymore. This could have been someone who didn't want to take accountability for their shadows in the past. Maybe that's what they were pushing away, self-reflection. And now they're done doing that. You know, Seven of Swords is the end of ghosting. Very interesting. And it feels like they want to reveal something to you here. Look, we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant, which this person may want to work on some type of mission with you, I'm hearing. Um, very interesting. Ace of Swords, communication and clarity. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think this person thinks of when they think of a future with you? <clears throat> so this is how you think they think the future or what's to come in the future. What do you think they want in the future with you? What do you think they want in the future with you? So interesting. We have the maestro and the three of wands and the maestro is, you know, someone who makes things happen. This you feel like this is someone who I'm almost seeing emperor energy who's going to come in and want to balance things, want to make this work in perfect harmony, you know, temperance. And we have the three of wands. So this person, you think they see a future here. You know, I'm hearing unlimited potential. You think that they see a future with you and perhaps you knew and that's why you you knew this tower moment had to happen and that's why you put up the boundary because you knew it was the only way for this person to grow. Let's see what they think about for the future. What do they see when they think of the future with you? We have the Empress. Stop. Just stop. It's so beautiful. I can't take it. <gasps> we have the Six of Cups. I can't take it. They see a very nurturing future with you. They see perhaps having a child together. Take it as it resonates nurturing you, having a very healthy, sensual, committed connection. And we have Six of Cups, which is reconciliation, my friend, and union. 
This person wants union with you. They want possibly a family with you. They want a home with you. That's what they see when they think of the future. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> that's beautiful. And that's all I have for you. <laughs> so I hope this resonated. Um, like I said, I'm always like, I'm always a little iffy about these readings. These, this is how you feel. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.